tryna make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't tryna grow, then it's done for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't tryna link no time to waste. For the record. All right, what's up, Rap Gang? So back at it again. Um, upgraded the camera, so hopefully I'm looking a little bit better. Uh, as you guys saw, my Sony took a nosedive and broke, so I got a Canon G7X. So there's the new babe. Uh, goal today is to start installing some of the parts that I bought for it. There's some things that I think kind of just need to be upgraded on the G4 and some things that I just kind of want to do for myself, try them out and uh, show them off to you guys. So first things first, as you can see, I got some CFR Boondocker 2.0 bars. I got them in, they call it blood red. I think it's gonna match the lava red on the suspension arms pretty well. Um, I got a set of CFR Nux risers. These are a four inch riser. The reason I did that, this is a seven eighths inch uh, set of bars and risers. So the inch and an eighth CFR boondocker bars won't fit in the FAR riser. I did kind of have an idea. I just grabbed these off Amazon. These are an adapter. They're definitely meant more for like motocross, but I'm curious if they'll fit on the uh, FAR riser and if they will, that could actually make it so you could still run it. Um, but if not, I'll obviously run the Nux risers and I kind of wanted to just run those anyway, so. So now I'll get digging into it. The biggest reason I want to swap out from the FAR riser, I've just ridden sleds with them. So there's not really like a ton for me to talk about. Um, for like a ride, I could obviously share some quick thoughts with like positioning on it, but I've ridden the G4s at demo rides with them. And um, I just figured I've always wanted to kind of try a new aftermarket set of bars. I've never done the swap before, so this will be a good lesson just to kind of show you guys um, how difficult it is. So first things first, I'm gonna take the um, bars off the FAR riser and see if the uh, adapter actually fits it. It'll actually be a little bit of a rise too, so if you're not interested in the 1.7 inch rise that the FAR is, this is kind of a little bit shorter. I think it's only an inch overall, but I'll measure it. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it works. So I'll be honest, these were really cheap on Amazon. They're just a little bit off. Like if you get one bolt in, you can't quite get the other one in. So I think if you actually bought like pro taper adapters, this actually could work. Knowing I was probably gonna run the Nux riser, I didn't wanna spend $40 on a part that I wasn't gonna use. So could be worth looking at. Um, I'm not 100% sure if it would work or not. Uh, this doesn't, so I won't give you guys the link to it. Um, but it was only $11, so I didn't lose too much on uh, buying it. All right, so I put uh, one of the clamps back on just to hold the bars in place, and now I'm going to take the grips off, and then after that, we'll be doing the um, hand warmers. Those gotta come off too. you need to remove the grips is one of these a little hole in the end of the grip just like that obviously you need a an air compressor to go with it but i just put it in and then pull and they come right off they do fight you a little bit on the curve at first but then once you kind of get it over it because there's kind of this uh this section here once you get that over it they just pop right off super easy brake side's done um i did have a little trouble with the front side of the uh the switch gear housing these bottom bolts are recessed really far, so this uh, Husky Torx head I was using, um, the 
bits were so far in that the top of the tool was hitting the back of the housing. So I actually just stuffed some cardboard in there and that uh, that was able to give me enough clearance to get it off. And uh, the hand warmer wasn't too bad. It was definitely difficult, but it's pretty cold today. So I'm assuming that's why I had a little extra trouble. So the bars are off. The throttle housing had this little backer on it that was supposed to slide out, but it had this little clip and I, uh, I didn't realize that I, I kind of had to compress that to get it out. So it took me a little longer than expected, but I got it out. <laughs> So Skidoo runs the throttle through the kit, the, uh, the riser so I, I had to kind of take this bottom black section off in order to get the throttle out um, just seemed easier than taking the actual throttle off but these are loctited on with heat so you got to heat them up in order to get them out but I only had to take one out and then it would rotate enough to uh, open up and let me get the throttle out So it definitely took me a little longer than I expected, probably about four hours in total. Um, really nothing was actually more difficult than I expected other than getting a lot of the skidoo parts um, off the sled. So like with the riser, the throttle was running through it, so I had to take the riser apart. Um, had a little bit of trouble getting the throttle assembly apart, but you know, that's kind of what happens with these projects. I expected it, I got through it. Here's the finished product. I think it looks pretty sweet. I haven't decided if I'm gonna run the hand guards for sure yet, but I threw them back on. Um, I probably have to tweak everything a little bit. Um, it'll be easier to do that after the first ride and everything, but I think it definitely looks pretty awesome. Like I said, this is the blood red handlebar, which I think really matches the uh, lava red in the suspension well, and just kind of ties the sled together. It does give it a little bit of that 2020 XRS look, but I think with a lot of the mat on the side and stuff, it definitely sets it apart. So the bend feels pretty good. Um, a, a touch taller than before but you know pretty much very similar um it was more about the looks and just kind of trying something different and uh, i think i definitely did that uh, i'll try to get some outside shots at some point for you guys but i hope you enjoyed it and uh, if there's something you're thinking about doing it's definitely nothing too bad but um definitely set some extra time aside because you know if you've never done it before there's gonna be some little stuff that trips you up but um yeah definitely something i could see myself doing again i think the results came out really good and i hope it helps you guys out and we'll see you in the next video.